It's a massive night for ATK. Mohan began in front of their home fans. A win books a place in the playoffs for a third consecutive season. Anything less, and it goes down to the wire. Kerala have already qualified, but will want to finish as high as possible to guarantee home advantage in the playoffs. We'll run through the team news in just a moment, but there are some changes for both sides tonight. One or two suspensions, one or two injuries, and we're underway. It is the Kerala Blasters, all in yellow, that will kick from right to left in the first half. Raul Kumar Gupta is our referee. Purely and simply, he warmed up on his own with one of the physios or one of the trainers, the fitness trainers. So, William Nasser, 90 minutes. Diamantakos! For the near post, Vishal Keith, I think may have had that covered, but Diamantakos straight away spotting a little bit of a gap and looked to exploit it. They have to hit the ground running here. Diamantakos, not a million miles away there. Lovely little ball, weighted ball in from Bryce Miranda. There are five players in the Blasters lineup. Also in that landmark as well. Here comes Hugo Boomers, allowed to run. Straight at Gill, either side, that could have been trouble, but he was straight at the goalkeeper. But Hormi Pam's backed off, he hasn't gone and fronted him up. You can't give Bumu time and space like that. He runs at you, he can jink, and he can twist and turn and crunch it and create an opportunity for himself. Very late in going and closing Hormi Pan, just getting away with it. Bumu at least testing the keeper. Bryce Miranda, what can he do here? That's a great looking ball in! And the glancing header from Gianni, he's comfortably saved by Vishal K. Tried to use the pace. Ball whipped in though, you look at the angle on this, it's right behind the defenders, and it's just probably a fraction ahead of the ball, Gianni. Just a fraction. Ivan. Ivan Kaliushni. Gianni. Diamantakos! Lovely move from the Blasters, and they take the lead. One touch football once again opens up the ATK Mohan Bagan defence. Diamantakos benefiting from Giannou's vision and Kerala lead by a goal to nil. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Look at this, he does it with the eyes and that little layoff there from Giannou into the path of Diamantakos who just rifles it into the top corner. Thank you very much. What a finish, what a goal, what a start to this game. Into double figures for Dimi Diamantakos, who's filling the void. Left by Alvaro Vasquez and Jorge Pereira Diaz. Jessel Canero. Got Bryce outside him. Diamantakos to the middle. Nobody attacking him. He's been allowed to run. Just forced Bryce a little bit wide. Still gets the ball across though. Oh! <laughs> Overhead kick from Giano inside the penalty area. Wasn't too far away. He pushes Bryce really wide there. Great ball whipped in. And that's a little bit uh, well, spectacular from Giano. Not a bad little effort. It's got to be. Box up, Oh, Bart, the bar man, of course. <laughs> I thought he'd be actually. That's a great header! And they've levelled into brilliant delivery. And Carl McHugh dives in to level things up for ATK. Mohan began all about the delivery from out wide. And McHugh stole in unnoticed. And the Mariners are back on level terms. We have got a game on here, but where, oh, where is the marking? Great ball whipped in, and as we've said before, we've said it all season long, Mark, it is all about the delivery into the box. You know what's going to happen. It just goes in, they don't attack it. Victor Mongol waves his leg at it, but McHugh is as brave as a lion. He scored against Mumbai City, doing exactly the same with a header late on in that for an equaliser. And he's drawn his side level here. Good, strong, solid header from him. To Mongil will place the ball, but there'll be no time to take the quick as the referee's whistle goes to bring an entertaining half to a close here in Kolkata. Even Vukomanovic, as usual, will take his place on the bench. They'll discuss tactics before heading to the dressing room. But Dimi Diamantakos, his 10th goal of the season, put his side in front before ATK Mohan began. We're able to get back into it. A quality delivery in from Dimi Petratos and the header from Carl McHugh. The rest of you thinking it will be a draw, but the balance weighing very much in the Blasters' favour. We're underway. It is ATK Mohan began in their familiar maroon and green. Kicking from right to left on Sunday next week. Here's Gallego. Diagonal run from Manvir. It's looking for Petratos. Nishu Kumar. Picked in by Petratos and won by Petratos as well. 
Did well, great ball across. Oh. Hits the foot of the post from Manvir's header. Tried to guide it out of the reach of perhaps you can kill, which he did, but denied by the Woodward. But take nothing away from Petratos' part in that. You're up against Petratos, who's a big, big physical unit. You deal with the ball, but Petratos doesn't give up the ghost and fires it in. Manvir gets in between Mongil and Giselle. And that is almost inch perfect. We were almost right behind that. I thought that was in the corner, but it's just glanced the post. And Kaliushni is there again. Ashish Rai wins the ball back. Manvir. Good start to the second half for the Mariners. Good shot on target as well. Perhaps you can Gil Buddy right behind it. The ball has not gone into the back of the net. Ashish Rai not giving up the ghost, but Manvir here drops the shoulder, creates that yard. Looked like Kaliushni was fouled in the centre circle, but it wasn't given. Hamill's still down injured, as she continues. Perhaps you can kill, spills it! Victor Mongil gets there, Petratos tried to stab the ball goalwards, and Victor Mongil just had enough on it to get the ball away. Passage of play is absolutely awful from the Blasters. Gill into Mongil, he can't pick it back up because that'd be construed as a back pass. They're all over the place. Most felt for Al KP. Oh, dived in, he could be in trouble here, Raul KP, referees wave play on. A second yellow for Raul KP, so he's going to depart the game early. It's a rash challenge which he doesn't need to make, and he's siding out down to ten men and a serious disadvantage. There you go, he's just on the edge of his box, so he's 80 yards away from the other goal line. It's very clumsy. Haven't drawn a home game, ATK Mohan began. There's been positive results, and they're in here, it's pulled back to Ashik. Was he caught from behind? Again, this claims he should be a penalty. He doesn't hit it first, and that's my big thing. Great ball fired in, bang, it's got to go first time, that's never a penalty. Everybody ball one back behind the ball for the Blasters at the moment. Take some dogged defending for them to keep their goal intact, now down to Ted. It comes out to McHugh! Brilliantly struck for his second goal of the game for Carl McHugh, and that little bit of extra space on the edge of the box has cost the Blasters. McHugh's on a hat-trick, and the Blasters will now have to come from behind. Is that the goal that puts the Mariners into the top six and stays in the top six? Ashish just fires it in. Manvir, how about that for a little layoff from Manvir? Right into the path of Carl McHugh, who goes across the ball. He knows what he's doing here. He doesn't strike through the ball. He strikes across the ball to take it away from the goalkeeper. There's the little set, just the outside of the foot to bend it, Pascal. Supreme quality from the Irishman. Right place at the right time for Carl McHugh. Job done for him, and looks like it's a job done for ATK. Mohan Bagan, who secure a place in the playoffs. It's been a nervy few weeks, but Juan Ferrando has got his team over the line with a game to spare. Dimi Petratos set up the first for that Carl McHugh header. Freddy Gallego came on in the second half for the injured Hugo Boomers, and in the end he managed to do the job required. The sending off of Raul KP didn't help. Still a few arguments going on on the sidelines, but the bottom line is that the Blasters are in the playoffs, of course, as well, but they could well have to travel now for their qualifying playoff game. They've got a game to go against Hyderabad. Diamantakos had put them in front after 16 minutes once again. But that brilliant turnaround, inspired by Carl McHugh, won it. It's finished 80k, Mohan began two, Kerala Blasters won.